In this video, I want to go over how to add a subscribe animation in Final Cut Pro 10 using a green screen. Now, as you can see, here is the finished product right here. This is what it looks like once it's completely all edited using the green screen and a couple of little tricks here and there. Now basically what this um, effect actually is, it's a green screen. So here as you can see right here, here is the original video. So let's go ahead and just import into Final Cut Pro. And basically how you find um, this effect is type it in YouTube. Basically type in subscribe animation, um, like copyright free or green screen or you can maybe do like Instagram follow uh, Twitter follow or YouTube notification or YouTube like animation type in the animation that you want for your videos but make sure you type in green screen make sure there's no watermark or anything like that but you want to make sure that the background is green or you can't use this um, effect at all and again make sure there aren't any watermarks um, because if there's a massive watermark right here um, then that doesn't work and that looks really really ugly so you want to find a video that has the animation such as this make sure there's no watermarks and make sure it has a green screen background now you could download the video I don't recommend that because it's you never know what, what could happen if you download uh, stuff on your computer. So I always I always suggest you to be wary. Obviously, if you know what you're doing, then yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, but what I just do is I just actually screen record this video. So I type in YouTube subscribe animation green screen. I type it in YouTube, find this video, then I screen record the video, and then I just import it into my Final Cut Pro. 10 timeline so make sure you screen record it you could download it but again i encourage you um, to screen record it so what you want to do is you want to click on the clip head over here to the keying effect now what you want to do is you want to head to the keying effect and slap on the keyer and there you go as you can see the green screen is disappeared it's completely gone so you want to use the keyer effect now as you can see right here it doesn't look like the original video because there's a couple of the things um, you're gonna have to do but as you can see right here here's an annotated card now obviously if you look in my video there is no annotated card so you ask okay where did the annotated um, card actually go well you want to head over here to crop and I'll try my best it's not always 100% there you go as you can see right here the crop tool is not always 100% reliable and it may mess up. But there's the annotated card. Just crop it out and there you go. Boom. The annotated card is completely gone. Let's go ahead and play it. As you can see, it has a black background. So if that's what you want, if you want a black background, then there you go. So that's how you create the subscribe animation. Okay, we say, well, I don't want the black background. I want the white background. So let's take a white background. You can find, um, I download this is off of uh, Canva. You could probably get one off of Photoshop or anything um, like that. Um, or just literally type in like white background um, dot PNG on Google. Take the image, take the green screen and drag it over the white background match it all the way up press command plus and there you go um, let's go ahead and mindset a little bit and there you go okay that looks a lot better now let's go ahead and play the effect so here is the original video it oh, works perfectly fine now coming up is the video that I just edited so there you go that's the original one and there you go that's the edited one it looks exactly the same so that's how you create this really cool subscribe animation effect let's go ahead and play it one more time and there you go it works perfectly fine and that's exactly how i create the subscribe um animation and then you'll be asking yourself okay so how do you get this how do you combine these we could create a compound clip um when i originally created this i didn't really think of creating a compound clip but i encourage you to go Click on the clip, delete it, head over here, make sure you watch it again. So let's watch it again, make sure everything is all good. As far as I can tell, everything looks perfectly fine. Um, you could maybe add a couple seconds of white uh, if you want to. Uh, let's wait for it to render. Head over here to the export section, export file, and um, um, in the export H.264, then I just export the video and rename it subscribe animation and there you go. I just exported the video and now I had the subscribe animation um, video that it now becomes, uh, see if we can find it, it now becomes this video right here. So I export it, I created it first, export it and now I have the video right here. So I just drag it into the end of my video and I say make sure to hit that subscribe button like I'm going to do in this video. But that's how you create the subscribe animation. 
animation it's a green screen video that you want to screen record make sure it has the green screen background make sure there's no watermarks um, screen recording like I said before apply the keying effect uh, which you can find right here keying apply the keyer crop it make sure there's no annotated cards or watermarks crop out any kind of watermarks and then put it underneath a white background or a black background or under a video now one thing I want to show you how to do uh, I don't actually have a video to give an example but I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this out I think it's what is it seven seconds um, I think that lines up perfectly. Um, another thing you could do if you don't want the white background, um, as you've seen in multiple videos, my, my uh, older videos, head over to blur, head over to here. I have no idea how to pronounce that, and there you go. You blur the background. So maybe this, uh, pretend this is a YouTube video, pretend this is like a talking um, headshot video. As you can see right here, the background is blurred and the subscribe animation pops up. So that's one effect um, you could also do. But I, I've, that, was, that was my older videos. I used to uh, use this effect, the blurred background. Um, but I personally like the white background that I've created um, for all of my uh, videos in the future. I'll just use that effect. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you guys on the next one. Peace.